Hey everyone, it's Tara. I tried to do one earlier and it wasn't working. I wanted to, or I'm just actually about to take off. My driver's here waiting for me. But I wanted to sh just show you around this villa before I left. I've been here for the past few days. It's here in Dominical, Costa Rica. If you guys are watching, go ahead and share me some love. Let me see some hearts. Where are you guys watching this from? Um, yeah, it's been pretty amazing. I, I know I've been sharing with you guys a little bit about my journey. There's all these indigenous paintings here. It's been, it's been, um, I had this whole place to myself. It's been really beautiful. Now this is what brings me joy. Um, so okay, you guys gotta check this out. And um, just a second here. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this view. Is that amazing? Oh my gosh. I'm like looking at those waves. And yeah, this whole place was to myself. I was a little bit feeling guilty because my kids are. <laughs> they would have loved that pool, but it's okay. There's a time and place for everything. Um, they'll be able to come back later. Yeah. And then, um, so I've had, had this whole place. I felt like a queen. And. And then I had over here was, I didn't go too far away from the internet. So yeah, I wanted to share with you guys that I know to manifesting. Now there's a lot that we could talk about, but I want to share with you one that's the overarching, that's the keystone to manifesting. So if you guys want to hear it, um, go ahead and share with me that you're ready and I'll go give you guys a view of the ocean while I'm going to sit here, um, right here, in, and just look at this, and as they go, we put there. Okay, so you guys want to hear the overarching, the keystone to manifesting. Let me see. Okay, and so the keystone to manifesting is, we all know the law of attraction, and that it's about it's about vibration and uh, just a second oh, yeah mona says um let me see marco por, por favor you'll record that me uh on the video let's see okay gracias <laughs> um all right so we all know about vibration and and manifesting and the thing is is if you are absolutely committed to bring your desire into physical reality. So I'm going to ask you that right now. Are you absolutely committed? And I'm going to see what you guys are sharing right now because often like that's the number one place where I see a gap. Like people say that we say that we're committed and I know it's happened for me. I say 100% committed, but I'm 90%. 90% does not that does not make a baby. It's 100%, you're either in or out. You don't kind of 90% procreate. It either happens or it doesn't, right? And it's the same when we're birthing our desires into the physical reality. And so the thing is, is that when you declare your vision, when you, when you declare it to the universe, the next thing is, is notice what are the programs that are coming up that are incongruent with that vision. All of those have got to be eliminated. The minute you start thinking, I can't afford it. The minute you start thinking, oh, I'm gonna get this. I really would like that shirt, but I'm gonna get this because it's on discount, it's on sale, and you said that you're abundant. Like, look at all, the, and I'm not saying, sometimes you might love something that's on sale and you're gonna get it, but notice every single place where there's programs of scarcity and lack. Because what's happening as we're awakening is that there is a new paradigm around money. And what's required is for us to release, to let go of this old paradigm around money. And this is what I've become intimate with and I've been working with as I've been on this inner journey. Like, what is this old paradigm around money? What 
are we absolutely being asked to let go for us to step in to this new reality? And so anytime you see, they're just mind viruses. Every single word has a program with it. So if you're saying, I need this, this is something that I learned from my friend Nigel Henry. I need this, I'm gonna get this. It already creates that program. It ha it's encoded with lack. And so what we wanna do is start looking at those things and eliminating them. So if you declare your vision, whether it's I'm here, you're a light leader and I'm here to have a massive impact with the world. I'm a light leader, I'm here to contribute to the planet. We serve no one when we're struggling. It serves no one to struggle because you're staying at a lower vibration. And what we're invited to do as the planet is shifting, as we're all awakening, is to step into thriving. It's to step into conscious reality creation, which is all that I teach to empower you to master birthing your vision into physical reality. So, okay, I just kind of went off a little bit. I didn't know that was gonna come up, but if anyone um, has any questions about that, I'm curious what you guys are thinking about that. Um, it's a responsibility. It's a stewardship. It's not, it is not compassionate to say to every single human being on this planet that, oh yeah, affluence is a choice. Because we're not all at, at a place or a vibration or education or the tribe and environment where we can even receive that and yet if you my loves are here and you're watching this right now you are part of this conversation and it's time for you to take on the responsibility with me with us to step into that stewardship because more of us that do that, that get over the distractions, that get over the stories, the stories of struggle, and, and all these things, the self-sabotage, things that hold us back. As we release those, break free from this bondage, it's a form of bondage. We talk about slavery, 100, 200 years of colonial oppression. This is a bondage that is self-inflicted and we are perpetuating it every single time you allow that mind virus to continue. And the game stops now. I have seen so many powerful, beautiful healers, light leaders, coaches that are staying within the box, that are staying within the limitations. And the challenge with that is that there are thousands millions of other souls that are waiting for them to awaken. It's like, I love this metaphor, and as a mermaid, I totally relate to this. It's like being a fish in a fishbowl, and you can, and, but beyond that is the ocean. You can see what's there, it's just on the other side, but guess what? You are still swimming in your fishbowl. And if you want to get out of that fishbowl, you dissolve that glass. You dissolve those mind viruses. And the thing is, is that we are not meant to do this on our own. We don't have to because we are divine beings. We're here to play together. So notice, what are those viruses, especially around money? Let's collapse them now. And so I, I shared with you that I'm, I'm gonna share with you this, this overarching keystone to manifesting if you want to bring your desire into physical reality, then you decide, you commit, and you eliminate any thoughts, any ways of being, any ways of, of thinking, speaking, acting that are inconsistent with that vision. And, and, and as you do that, and you are congruent, the universe obeys because these are universal laws. It's not magic. This is quantum physics and the more we study it, the more we feel it. And, and you see the evidence of it, it's a decision. And so notice, where are you holding back in your decision? Where are you holding back? Now, I didn't know, I asked my friend Marco, we were about to go up to the Tarifa Mountains and I'm like, oh, let me just have one last view of the house that I've been staying at and I wanna share it 
with all my friends. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to come up with me. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's time. It's time. I hear my, my, my heart is just pounding right now. And I'm sending you guys so, so much love. And I have for you, I want to hear, like, how many of you are ready to up your game? How many, if you're watching this right now, and you know you're here for a massive purpose, and you still feel like you're in that fishbowl, you know it's been right up here, you know it's there, you see your peers and others that are, are doing that, but there's something, there's a glass ceiling in our own mind. If you are listening to this, you're watching this right now, and you absolutely want to accelerate, I have a training I wanna share with you. And so post below, I just post below Unstoppable. It's all about how to shift from where you are out are now to become unstoppable. And I'll send you guys the link. Because what I know is that you are a divine being. I'm a divine being. And there's a reason we are all here together. And everything is speeding up. It's time to accelerate. And if you don't want to, too, that's fine, too. But if, if you're feeling, if you're, you're feeling the, feeling disgruntled or you're feeling the frustration, the pain of knowing that you're still, you're doing awesome and you're successful, but you're still living beneath your potential, then share, just post below Unstoppable and I'll share with you the link. Send you guys so, so much love and remember and thank you for taking the time on this beautiful monday remember that you absolutely can live your dream now